What is up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I am back with another video. Yo, today you guys, I wanted to talk about, about the lunar eclipse full moon tomorrow that's happening in Libra. And we are now in the Aries energy as well. Now this time, because also retrograde is coming up as well on, the, on April Fool's Day, we have a lot of rebirth and so much energy coming out. We're purging old shadow selves, old energy. It's no longer needed. So anything that you need to finish on shadow work, ego, death, whatever it is, this is a time to purge. And for my women who your menstrual lines up with the moon, you're, you are very vital. Your energy is very sacred and you're probably an empath. That means you're, you're attuned to the end for the, the, the moon's energy and you're very sensitive to everything during this full moon. I am one of those people and I always start my cycle with the moon. So we need to be very cautious of who we're sharing our energy with around this time. Take spiritual baths, take time to, to go into solitude, whatever you need to do, read up on spiritual books, get to know yourself because this is a time of transformation where on the other side is a brand new you. On the other side are new opportunities, new advancements, new manifestations. If you're trying to attract anybody, friends, relationships, whatever it is, this is a time to do it and let go of the old energy that you've been attached to or, or been attracting and bring in new energy and come in with some new energy after this full moon because we're about to hit retrograde as well. And we know what retrograde does. It likes to stir things up. This is the first lunar eclipse during the Equinox New Year. We are going to have some fun. And what I mean by fun, I mean emotional turmoil. And we're going to go through all these emotions. Let them come up. Feel safe in them. Sit with them. Hold them. Do not try to distract yourself from these emotions because good luck trying to run from emotions around this time. It's going to make you feel the panic, the nervousness, everything, the stress, you're going to have to sit with it. Stop trying to run from your stress or your, or your feelings. Sit with them, feel them, and feel safe in them. This is the time to treat yourself with kindness and be gentle with your soul and allow yourself to feel the emotions that you're feeling and, and hold yourself in this mist of emotional turmoil because these emotions are meant to come up. Let them come up and sit with them and be comfortable in your skin to allow you to feel those emotions. This is what I wanted to talk about and I feel like it's very important. And I'm so excited because I know that this new energy coming in is something that I've been needing. I've been like, my sleep has been horrible the past couple days too. This energy is really getting to me and I have been very like, you know, just drained. And, and everything is just going rapid crazy. But I'm allowing myself to feel and I'm allowing myself to have those stressful situations, allow myself to have that stressful energy because I know it's temporary. Emotions are temporary and they don't last forever. And I allow them to go away as well. And I don't just hold on to things. Stop holding on to emotions. Let those emotions go. Let them come like water. Emotions are like this. You know, they're up and down. But do not hold on to bad emotions. Do not hold on to them. Let them pass. But do hold on to positive energy and hold yourself in that. Even if you have sometimes dark energy because we're not always positive, and know that is a part of life. Know that we have duality. There is Where there is light, there is darkness. So allow yourself to feel comfortable even in the midst of darkness. Also know, feel as comfortable in the midst of darkness, also in the midst of light. Because we are dark and light beings duality matter it breaks up into different different forms of energy we are all energy anyways you guys i hope you're able to quantum jump into a new reality and shift your perspective on how you want your life to be after this full moon and lunar eclipse and this retrograde coming up have a beautiful sunday and i can't wait to talk to you guys in the next video next week on thursday peace